Today, I played up in CMG Superdome, and I went ultra late game with this underrated Super Monkey strategy. We faced against a guy currently ranked top 25 globally, and he even went a late game strategy of his own. Definitely do be sure to watch until the end on this one because it got extremely close. Before we get into all that though, do me a quick favor boys, like the smash button, leave a comment for the YouTube algorithm, and hit the subscribe button as well. Let's get right into it. Alright boys, this strat right here is the one to go. We're against Freak. I don't know how this one is going to go because this guy looks kind of like a grinder, but let's give it a try. So I really like this strategy. I used to play it a lot too. Like it used to be really, really viable. Uh, I don't know how much more viable it still is. I don't see it being played a lot anymore. I'm not going to lie. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's give it a chance. Also, this is just a good spot for the glue. Like glue genuinely hits everything here, which is just kind of awesome. So yeah, let's uh, we'll see here. And let's start ecoing in a bit. Oh, he's probably going to copy my eco, isn't he? I don't even know, but we'll see. So, of course, we're going to need a bunch of eco right here. Uh, let's see. All right. I should probably go for another one in case he tries anything. Seems like this guy has copy eco, 100%. Meaning, if he does have copy eco, I'll need to play this kind of specifically. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay. He greets with a farm. That's crazy. Okay. I mean, I'm not even going to go ahead and do anything. I'm just going to keep sending. Let him lightning. Let's see if he'll greed and just keep going or like what he's going to do. Oh, he goes directly for a dart link. Okay, but he's already wasted a bunch. So that's kind of wild. He might go ahead and just waste the last one too. All right, let's go for a second one of these. There we go. And the good thing is we can always go ahead and upgrade the glue to the right side. Not something we have to worry so much about right now, but we can get up another uh, splat or another splatter or whatever. All right. So he probably has. Oh, he doesn't have copy eco. Okay. I'll super eco boost him. I thought he was going to have copy eco by the way he was playing, but you know what? If this guy doesn't have copy eco and he's actually just trying to go late game, I mean, I'm, I'm down. I think we can definitely make some good stuff happen here. So, yeah, of course, going late game, I mean, he'll have BIAs, he'll have the glue, he'll have, like, infinite money. But there's gonna be... I mean, I'm gonna have super and village. So, we'll see if we can beat this guy late game. Should be should be kind of fun. See, of course, right now, I like having my two glues just here on strong. I'm glad they hit both the end, but also the beginning. It's very nice. Come on, round seven, super eco boost. There we go. And it's just about getting as much eco as we possibly can. And of course, uh, in case he ever does try and be aggressive and try and rush us, we do have our lightning, which we can use to um, kick back anything that might overwhelm us. Although you should only use lightning if it means you're going to die. Uh, so I'm not going to use it like if, if I can see, okay, I'm going to leak like 60 lives, 70, 80, maybe even 100 lives. I'm not going to use lightning in that case. You want to use it just to save your life, basically. Otherwise, it can be easily wasted. Alright, so round 10, we're going to go ahead and super eco boost. Nothing we got to worry about right now. Okay, he uses his final lightning. Bear. Let's see, here we go. Alright. Might need to go ahead and do something. Actually, I don't know. I think we're okay to these yellows. Yeah, see? I'm not going to use a lightning here. Let's go ahead and super eco boost. Go ahead and just get like 900 eco. And yeah, I'm not gonna, not gonna go ahead and do that one. Here, however, we're definitely gonna lightning. 100%. Now I will need to go for this right here. And we also do need some camo detection, which we can almost get. I'll also need the super up, but that's nothing. Uh, too important right now. All right, let's go for this right here. There we go. Okay, sweet. And I can eco a little bit. We'll need the super quickly though. Come on, there we go. And hopefully this should be should be good. Do I gotta upgrade it? Probably not. I think we're actually just kind of chilling here. And of course, like we can always damage boost. We can always have the super on strong. There's always a lot of things we can do. The super should be pretty good in this spot right here, actually. 
it's a pretty decent decent spot for it yeah all right so here i mean he's obviously gonna have to get a bia up for sure he has no other option so he's probably gonna go ahead and get it like right now i think okay or not Let's see can i even can i get this I don't know if I need to lightning this. Probably not, but... Why is he not going for BIA? What is actually happening? That's crazy. Okay, now he finally goes for it. Okay, cool. Again, I'll stick to what I got here. I'm not gonna... Not gonna do anything else. I think we should be chilling. I'll have my super on strong, actually. I think it'll help a lot more on strong than anything else. And of course, we will have to upgrade it um, in case of like BFBs and stuff. But right now, we're actually just kind of chilling. Our eco is looking good. We're going to have like 1,500 eco um, by around 18. So that's going to be sick. And yeah, I mean, this is just going to go late game. I don't know if I can beat this guy late. Like, I genuinely don't, but I think we might have a good shot. But yeah, we'll see. All right, 1,500 before round 18. It's lovely. 1,551 right now. Let's see. And of course, if he does try and rush with anything, we have, we have our damage boost. We have everything else. We should be good. At least I think so. But, of course, circumstances can change. I might also need to get up another super, but we'll we'll see about that. So far, so good. No worries just yet. This is where it starts to get tricky, right? Because this is where we actually need to save up a little bit. And I'd say after this one, I need to just send space. I mean, we'll still get a good amount of money with the space, but we need to send a lot of space here. Get some range on this, and we'll need a we'll need a robo like worst case scenario here. Okay, he's getting that up. I don't even know what this guy's doing, but yeah, in case he wants to send me anything here, we'll definitely need the robo. Of course, the PFP will be slow, so it shouldn't be too bad. Let's also go for this right here. Let's keep sending these. Okay, nothing yet. Hmm. If he doesn't send me a BFP, I guess I'll just straight up go for the Monkey Town. Alright. Monkey Town it is. And then we'll go for this. Of course, we can always sell the Monkey Town if we need to. Uh, so yeah, I think we should be we should be alright. Now it's just about getting as much eco as we possibly can. And of course. Need to be careful. Need to get a robo. We need all this different stuff. Dude, look at the range on this super. <laughs> right? It literally hits the entire map. Like, there's not a spot on this map where it's not gonna hit. That is that is crazy. It's gonna hit the entire track everywhere. Bro, that's that's wild. Okay. Alright, awesome. So far, 2800 eco. We're good. I'm just dealing with, like, potential threats right now. So here, he could rush. He could send a CMG. He could try and all out with BFBs. There's a lot of things that he could do that we would obviously need to play a little careful with. So, yeah, I don't know. Let me see. Okay, he's not even sending anything. I think he just wants to farm. Like, if he would have rushed me, he would have done it way earlier. He would have rushed me, like, round 22 with a CMG and BFBs. But if he's just playing fully for late game... Then yeah, I think we're I think we're solid. This is uh, looking good, especially because we can almost afford a robo automatically right now. Um, so yeah, beautiful. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I am anti-stalling a little bit too much, but I don't think it'll actually matter all that much right now. So yeah, I just think it's it's just about us continuing to get infinite money right now. It's pretty much all we got to do. And then we have to obviously not die to anything. But at this point, it's like kind of too late. Like, I'd say for this strategy, round 24 to like round 30, that's the sweet spot where you can't really get attacked. Anything before round 24 or like 22, between 18 and 22, those are probably going to be the most dangerous rounds for the strat. Um, but, but everything else, I mean, you're, you'll, you'll be fine. You can even see here. Still fine. Like, we have 29 lives. We have one more lightning left, which... I mean, we, we have. Doesn't really mean anything. Let's go for the robo now, just in case of all those ceramics. That are gonna come out soon. 
course it is nice with the blue gunner that is going to do quite a bit but yeah all those ceramics are just gonna get completely shredded to the robo love to see it i actually wonder if we could have rushed him here with a little bit of stuff i think we might have been able to send a couple camo ceramics but maybe it would have also just been a waste because i think he would have defended them eventually but there was just so much stuff overwhelming him on round 25 that i actually think we if we had we send enough we probably could have gotten them by or at least gotten him to panic boost because actually getting him to use a boost would be huge <laughs> but yeah i mean if we're both just going late here obviously it's gonna be good for both of us right because he's gonna have infinite bia money but i'm gonna have infinite eco money uh, or at least not infinite but i'm gonna have a good amount like round 26 or around 27 6.1k that's pretty decent eco i can't complain if you got at least 8k by around 32, that is uh, that is solid. That is better than uh, better than expected. Um, so yeah, now, I did wait a little bit, which made have might have uh, made me fall behind. And I've also kind of anti-stalled slightly, which I mean we both have. Let's be honest, but that just kind of adds to it. But we have 55k, 60k uh, saved up left over right now. That is absolutely beautiful. I think what we do want to do here is probably go for this up here and go for an MIB and then go for an energy beacon. There we go. Because I think I want a bunch of just regular sun gods or like one temple. I think one temple behind is all I want. And if I have that, then I think that should be should be pretty good. So let's have this here. We can always get ready with the temple. And this is just to make everything much cheaper. Bam. We'll need the sacrifice. That's going to be like... Actually, we'll need to get a sun god up. Then we need this. That's going to be the sacrifice. Which, uh, yeah. Well, we're going to get for a little bit cheaper. But it should still be good enough, I think. Yeah, that's 24.8k. I actually don't know if that's enough. Maybe that's now 26. Yeah, I think that's that's fine. Just needs to be over. Actually, I think it just needs to be over 24k. Um, yeah, because 10% of of 30,000 is 3,000, and 20% of that would be 6,000. So yeah, over 24k. Meaning, I over upgraded, but it's fine. 7k. It's 14. Bam. That's three. That's seven. That's okay. That's 2.5. 21. I think this might just be enough. Like, just barely. But yeah, we'll keep e coin. We're at 9k now. It's looking good. And then we will go for our first temple down here. And obviously, it's not going to be within range of these, sadly. But that should be okay. Because we want to get up a bunch of Ropa Monkeys, like, up within the range of uh, this first one. So right now, we just want a temple. This is basically just for cleanup in the end. And of course, we can't always get another village down here. Uh, if we really if we really want to. But nothing we have to worry about. We do have to be kind of conservative about our money. Um, he's not rushing me yet. He always can. Which we gotta keep in mind. But so far, he's not rushed me. All right, we made 10k eco. Round 33, 10k eco is actually pretty good. That is pretty solid. All right, we can also get this almost pretty soon. Just a bit more. It's going to be 90k. So one more eco boost and we can go for it. Okay, 42 seconds. We'll go. Bam, there we go. And that's going to be a nice and cheap temple. And the temple does hit the beginning, kind of. It doesn't hit all the way up at the top, but it hits, like, up here, which is going to be the important thing. Now, I do think we can easily go for this right here, which does give the temple slightly more range. Nothing crazy, but it does add a little to it. Anyway, I think we'll get some more Robos up. We will also go for another clue up here, and we will go for one down here. Strong, strong, and strong. That should be good. Now we have clues everywhere, just covering whatever they need to cover. 
And now we just need to get as many of these up as possible. And I don't even think we need to rush at like a specific point. Maybe we'll send some space CMGs eventually, but not now. Now he has, he's getting infinite BIA money. Um, so he will be able to get up his entire map filled with Ray of Dooms. But by the time he has that, we're going to have way more as well. And I think what we'll go for personally is probably going to be like between 15 and 20,000 eco. Already at 12k right now, which is nice. Uh, let's go for... Oh, can I not fit two of these? Like in here? Oh, come on, bro. Damn, you're kidding me. I really want to be able to fit another superhero, but I can't. That is that is very very unlucky. I feel like we should just be able to like fit it here perfectly. But unfortunately not, I guess. Can't fit it anywhere. Oh well. It's fine. Just looks a little ugly, but that's okay. It's not meant to look pretty, we're just meant to win. Although I will not accept this, but it's it's okay. We'll cope, we'll cope. Alright, let's keep on going for this. And yeah, it's nice. Like, we're mainly gonna have just a bunch of these up. This is going to be our main source of, uh, like, defense up here. Especially because they, they are gonna be within range of the village, which is going to help out a lot with damage. Like, the village, village is going to help out a ton. Of course, we will have this MIB here as well, which we also do want to upgrade at some point. But right now, we want to get a bunch of these up. I actually also think that we'll go for... We want to put these down, like, strategically, I think. Hmm. Where can we... Where would be a decent spot? We could put another one, like, all the way up at the top, actually. Might just be pretty good. Okay, so wait. This is actually within range of this village but i don't think it'll consume this village so that's actually pretty nice meaning we can go ahead and sack everything here and then we can just have this like blasting down the map i think that should be pretty solid yeah at right, around 40 so far and as you can see we're even like we're, we're popping these balloons quicker than he is and of course he will start to get up a bunch of ray of doom soon but we're just doing more damage. Like, our damage is just kind of undeniable. Uh, but of course, we won't get... Actually, maybe at some point we'll fill our entire map with temples if he forces us to. But I don't think he even wants that. I don't think it'll, it'll ever get to that point. Bam. See? Look at that. Beautiful. It didn't even do anything there. Alright, let's have this here. On strong. And of course, this temple will just shoot down, so it'll kind of hit everything. And if balloons get over here, it'll just shoot down straight in this line right here. Which is going to be quite nice. Might also get up another temple, I want to say, over here. So we'll go for this. And then we will go for these right here. And I think this is roughly, like, the sacrifice we need. I give, give or take, basically. Also, I just upgraded that one i didn't need to that cost me eco like time your upgrades better than me trust me it's it's worth all right he says well done i mean it's around 43 can you even do anything here i don't think so i actually think i should move this so like i move it within like i move this village like right here i think that would be pretty solid because then it'll be within range of uh, both of these temples. I think, at least. Not 100% sure, but I think so. Right here, let's go for this. And... Let's go ahead and that's that one, this one. Okay, it works on the left one. I don't know if it works on the bottom one. Maybe. Hmm, perhaps. But, yeah, this one does affect it. These one, this one is... Does it touch this one down here? It does. Okay, cool. Okay, so this one should affect everything. 
All right, lovely. Uh, let's see. We will. Can I even fit this? Like, you know what? We can. We can have this over here. That's fine. All right. Let's uh, continue on going for more of these. And of course, I will put them all to strong. He's gonna improve tower boost now. Okay. Hey, he can rush me if he wants to. Is that him rushing me or is that AI? I think that's AI. I think we'll stop at 20k eco. At that point, I think we will have enough. But yeah, look at, look at how quickly we're popping these. This is actually a problem for him because the quicker we pop them, the more we anti-stall, which is, at this point, worse for him. And also, I think the later we go, the better it is. And of course, we have our two lovely villages here, which also do help out quite a bit let's go ahead and yeah keep going and of course everything within range of the village so like even over here the, these like over here are going to be within range of the village meaning like i think there was like a single spot where like right here but everything actually is going to be within range of these villages is he good seems like he just died but i think that might just be battles lagging we're also almost at what I would consider to be the limit of our eco, or like at least how much eco we need. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna stop at 20k. Once we get there, we're pretty close. I think around 50 or something, we can start sending some space. Or maybe around 55. I don't really know. Right, let's keep sending... Just a few of these. Bam, 20k eco, lovely. All right, beautiful. Let's keep filling our map with these. And of course the villages can be micro, which is something important to keep in mind. We can always sell and rebuy, especially this one. It's not gonna be too difficult because we actually have good view of it. The one in the middle will be slightly more difficult because we don't have the best view of that. But should still be fine. And yeah, dude, just just look at this, man. Just look at this. And let's just use both of these to pop a bunch. Oh, he's actually rushing me. Okay. Hmm. Oh my god, can I not fit this down? Or I thought this would this one would be easy. I'll just keep sending him space. We can always damage boost here. Uh come on, bro. Uh let's see, unless we can get up a bunch of tech terrors here. I think we should be solid here. Let's see, we can go ahead and boost again in a bit. Let's go for this. Damage boost, all that good stuff. Get ready to sell the village. Alright, do this. And again, use our last damage boost shortly. Come on, there we go. Bam. 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 Just keep spamming these down. Come on. Oh, please, 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 please. Alright, do this, and I think we win. I think he's about to die. Yes! We get the W. Yo! 
Damn, bro. This went crazy late game, too. Wow. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. We uh, managed to win against the global rank 25 player in the world. Uh, yeah, that'll be pretty much it. See you in the next one. Peace out.